film, we see a girl named Cassie. She is running in the forest. Then she goes to a gas station. It looks deserted and destroyed. There was no one except Cassie. Cassie puts the leftovers in her bag. She hears someone screaming for help. When Cassie goes to that man, she finds him injured and she sees a gun in his hand. Cassie also has a gun. They point their guns at each other. That man keeps one hand in his jacket. Something shiny was visible from the jacket to Cassie. Cassie doubts that man and gets scared. She shoots that man to protect herself. Later, Cassie sees that the man was hiding his cross necklace. Seeing this, Cassie regrets and feels sad, as she has killed an innocent man out of doubt. Then Cassie goes to her past. She starts telling her story. We see Cassie at the party who was enjoying a lot with her friends. She was talking to her best friend. She was discussing about Ben. Then she also talks to Ben afterwards. The next day, Cassie's friend shows her a blur video. Cassie gets home and watches TV through which she gets to know that an alien spaceship landed on the Earth. They are being trained by none other than but the people on the Earth. Humans call them the others. Those aliens release their first wave. It was a radiation wave that resulted in the blackout of the electricity of the whole world. Cars, cell phones, and everything stopped working. Seeing these changes, people got afraid and they planned to move to other cities. Then one day, Cassie and her brother were filling the water. Then the second wave releases. Aliens change the whole system of the planet. Then earthquakes and sea storms are triggered, Cassie climbs the tree up with his brother to save themselves. They get safe from drowning in the water. The whole world gets destroyed including their city. Afterwards, the others release the third wave. They release a dangerous virus. This virus is spread in the whole universe through birds. Cassie mother dies due to this third wave. She was a doctor. Cassie's father takes his children with him to a camp. There were many tents. All the survivors were living there. Cassie's father gives her a gun by saying that use it when you need it as there is no safe place left in the world. There is danger everywhere. Then army comes there and the army officer consoles them that we are here to help you. As we are taking you to a safer place. The army takes children with them first. But Cassie's brother's bag is left in the camp. Cassie goes to the room to bring his bag but misses him. Here Cassie and her brother get separated. Then army gathers everyone once the children are gone. Army tells that the fourth wave has come in which the others are possessing the humans. They will kill each other after possessing. He says that it is easy for children to identify that who's human or who's alien. But in elders, we can't. Hearing this everyone becomes angry and demands to let them meet their children. Hustle starts there and everyone starts fighting. In the end, Army kills all the survivors. Cassie witnessed this. Her father asks her to run away. When the army leaves from there, Cassie goes to his father but she finds him dead, she becomes dejected. She decides that she will save his brother at any cost. She takes a gun and runs towards the army unit. While walking, she comes to the gas station, where she was seen at the starting of the movie. The army is taking children to a safe place. Every kid was given a token and they were sent inside to get checked. Now it was Ben's turn. The doctor tells him that the others are killing people by taking shape of humans. The army needs to train the children to fight against the others. After telling everything to Ben, the doctor injects a tracker in her. The same thing is done to all kids. We see Cassie who is traveling. Then she comes to the road exiting the forest. Someone shoots her and she gets injured. She immediately faints. In the army unit, the army was training kids to fight the fifth wave. A boy named Evan takes Cassie with him. He gives her medicines. He even knew Cassie's name as he had read Cassie's diary. She asks him about her gun. Evan says that he doesn't know about her gun and he doesn't have it. Cassie asks Evan about the army unit's address. She says that I have to go there to save my brother. In the army unit, we see Cassie's brother in Ben's unit. 
they all were sitting there when a doctor brings a girl named Ringer there. Ringer is sent to Ben's team as she is a great shooter. Cassie sees that Evan is busy with his work, so she goes to his room to explore the house. Cassie finds her gun there. Cassie gets scared and she tries to run but Evan seizes her. Cassie doubts Evan that he might kill her. But in fact, he was protecting Cassie from the others. Then Evan brings Cassie home. He says I hid your gun because I was afraid that you might shoot me. He also says that he will take her to the army unit at night. Then they set out for the army unit. On the way, Evan trains Casey to protect herself. Colonel says to Ben I'm sending you with army on a mission. He shows a helmet to Ben. He tells that this helmet is made to identify the others. He says that if the others come in front of this helmet the light turns green but it is still in the testing stage. To test that gadget, they have chosen Ben's squad. Here we see that Cassie and Evan developed good bonding. But Ben is sent with the children's team instead of the army on the mission. Ben leaves Cassie's brother there as he is too young. They reach their target location and the aliens were seen green using that helmet. Here the children and the others have a huge fight and a child gets killed during that battle. Ringer blasts the bus to divert the attention of the others. Other people hide at a place. When she goes to her team, she takes off her tracker. Suddenly, she also seemed green to everyone. Seeing it, Ben understands everything. He takes off his tracker. He is also seen green to everyone after removing the tracker. Ben understands the conspiracy behind Army's plan. He tries to explain to everyone that this is a trap in which the others are trying to entangle us. The fifth wave is none other than us, it means with the children. They are using us to kill the remaining people. They chose us to train because it's easy to change children's minds as compared to the elders. Listening to Ben, everyone removes their tracker. Ben gets worried about Cassie's brother. He asks all the children to run away and he asks Ringer to shoot him so that nobody doubts him. He decides that he'll go back to save Cassie's brother. We see Cassie there where the others attack them. Evan saves Cassie from them. Here Cassie knows that Evan is one of the others. Evan reveals himself in front of Cassie. He tells Cassie that it didn't happen for the first time that aliens came on the earth. He tells that many aliens like him have come before to this world. He says that the aliens consider love as a feeling and nothing more than that. He says that he used to think the same but when he saw her, humanity popped up in him. That's why he didn't kill Cassie and kept her alive. Evan tells that he was following and protecting her from the gas station itself. But Cassie doesn't pay any attention to his words and moves forward. Evan tells Cassie an important thing. He informs that the army unit also belongs to the others and they are using kids as a fifth wave. Hearing this, Cassie reaches the army unit. Ben also reaches there and he is arrested because he got the information about the army. Then Cassie kills the doctor. She wears her uniform and goes to search for her brother. Ben also gets out of there to find Cassie's brother. On the way, he finds Cassie too and now they start searching for her brother together. But Evan also comes there. Evan tells them that this place will be exploded in 10 minutes. So you must find your brother and better run away. Then Cassie and Ben find Cassie's brother together. They come outside the army unit. The army was taking children with them and when